You just finished dishes? Okay. <coughs> my TikTok's still loading on my end. The cherry plant. Wait, what do I have for the oh it is cherry okay. Why wait. Kendra, yeah. <laughs> My day is going good. I don't know if he's in here. big enough for a bedroom, right? <laughs> Everybody's trying to get Elvis to join my TikTok so we can get him enough um, views to go live. I did have my down taken down twice. Already? Yeah, they kept getting approved. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> get people are getting mad at me because I'm an asshole. Get oh, people geez. want to come in there. So I keep getting taken down for a hate speech. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we waiting to come into the live? Oh, um, like earlier? Elvis. Like I act quite earlier because they got taken down and I built it and they got approved. So we're back live. Well, it just now got taken down again for the same reason. And as soon as I went live, they, everybody was like, we're reporting this, we're reporting this. So like, I don't care. So. Then later, it gets taken down again. So I just appeal it, and it just got a person in. So I'm <laughs> taking her. You good? Lilith, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Elvis, I guess y'all will find out if he comes up in my TikTok. Okay. I want to make sure this is big enough for bedroom, but I think it's fine. It is. You can't. Ah! He's on my Twitch right now. I just about died. You can't get it to come up or like to open or maybe it needs to be updated. He's having issues, guys, with tick, with TikTok. <laughs> Michael knows that I'm talking to him. They were like, does Michael know? I 
hope I didn't overdo it. I hope this seems pretty cool. I mean, if you're in my Twitch, <laughs> you can, um, you know, chat with them and stuff. That's why I keep trying to get people to get on my Twitch, because sometimes there's people in here who, um, yeah, <laughs> can't get on TikTok for some stupid reason. Just from the things that I have said? Oh. Yeah. He's my baby daddy, so... Oh fuck, it's raining. I ain't got this bedroom made yet. A see through roof. Ah. I'm like redoing all the this. I wanted to make the bedroom bigger. No, oh my lord. There we go. It just got really dark. Yeah, Minecraft. Hey. Uh, Elvis is someone I knew for a long time, yeah. <laughs> Not like Elvis Presley, no. Is going 
I get all happy talking about him, yeah. I always have been like that. When it comes to Elvis. I don't know, it's just something about him, you know? The hunka hunka kid. Can I ask why you are here, sir, and not working? How, how, wait, who said that me and Michael broke up? Or are you talking about me and Elvis? break up um honestly I don't know um his cousin did have some to do with it I do believe um because at the time you know we were in Frankfurt and I don't know he just kept telling him to leave so I guess he just left I don't know we were young Um, would I ever consider getting back with him? Yes. Uh, me and Michael actually had the conversation last night. That's my question right there. It's when I see just the video. And, I talk to and Michael knows, and he's known ever since me and Michael got married, that, you know, I've always had feelings for Elvis, and nothing's going to change that. And then he also said last night, you know, he's not going to force me to stay. He wants me to stay because he says he loves me. But he said he wants me to be happy. So it's just um, a matter of me trying to figure out, you know, what's best in the long run. Because, like, part of me, like, wants to because, you know, there's been so much, like, fighting and arguing and like he Michael breaks stuff a lot and throws stuff and sometimes it hits me and you know there's a lot of yelling and arguing um and then there's the age gap that you know a lot of people complain about which I don't really care about but you know um and then there's the matter of the debates and like if I was to go back to church I know he wouldn't be too supportive of that like, if I wanted to try, you know, going back to church or anything. Uh, does Elvis want to get back with me? Yes. It's just a matter of, like, part of me also, um, like, I just don't want to get stuck down in Florida. Like, Yeah, he makes it smile a lot. I, like... It's just hard to explain, like... Why are we talking about kids, bro?
please make sure I'm wiping front to back. What the fuck? Who are these people? <laughs> it's not working? Oh no. Damn. Your sister says you're a great kid. Um. I mean, and he said, like, and I'd be taking Luna with me. So Luna would be coming with me. Um, Lilith would be staying here. I don't know if he would allow me to take the PlayStation or not. Or, like, you know, like, we haven't discussed, like, everything that I'd be taking with me. Um, can a moderator get rid of those two people? Hey, Miss Behaven. Yeah, exactly, Gypsy, exactly. Can someone get rid of Princess Sophia? They're like... Yeah, no, I can get food assistance there. I can't get food assistance here. I've been to Florida before. <clears throat> I would have to, like, get my ID redone, of course. Um, and, you know, get health insurance and everything done down there. Do I have transportation to Florida? Um, I'm, I think it can be arranged. What part of Florida would I be going to? Panama City. Why do you keep hearing cat? I'm playing Minecraft on Twitch, so that's why I have, like, the headset on and you hear a cat. Because I have pet cats um, on Minecraft. I also have a dog on there. Um, can someone explain to Miss Behaven? Another thing is, I don't have a lot of clothes, so even, like, if I did bring my clothes with me, it wouldn't really be a lot, because Michael always had way more clothes than me. And to be honest, lately, I just felt like I'm not wanted here anymore. Um, I'm trying not to tear up about it, to be honest, because... It's, it's a little, uh, yeah, but, uh, me and Michael discussed some of it last night. We were supposed to discuss more of it today, but for some reason he hasn't really wanted to. He's just been in there in the bedroom on live and just kind of like on his phone all day. But surprisingly, he wasn't upset and he wasn't mad and he didn't act like he really cared. when I mentioned it to him last night, so, like, we stayed up until, like, probably a little after midnight, trying, you know, discussing it. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, and I didn't say it last night, but that's literally what I was thinking. Like, when they don't fight for you to stay, you know it's over. <gasps> A fucking kitten just spawned in my fucking ass! Yeah, 
Yeah, and like the thing is, is he'll ask me. He's like, "Well, what can I do to prove that you're wanted? Like, is me not buying all this stuff good enough for you? Me not working good enough for you? We have." And he was like, "We have an apartment. We, you know, I'm working. You know, I'm buying you things from the store." And it's just like, I'm so over the arguing. And like I told him, I was like, um, me and Elvis never argued. Like, we never fought. He never threw anything. He never hit me, you know, or any of that. We never really, like, screamed at each other or any of that. And he was like, well, give it time. And, you know, y'all be arguing. Because it's what couples do. It's normal. Yeah, Greta, that's what I was trying to say. And Michael's not, like, the mushy-gushy romantic type. Like, he doesn't like taking people out on dates. He doesn't like going to the movies or going anywhere. He doesn't like buying flowers and chocolates. He doesn't really like doing anything with me. Like, he just does his own thing. And like I expressed to him last night, I feel like I am, you know, more of a roommate Or, like, a friends with benefits, because... And we don't even do that stuff a lot anymore, either. Like, I'm lucky to get it once or twice a month, to be honest, but... I just want to make sure that I'm going to be doing the right thing, because, you know, being in a marriage for, like, almost ten years, um... You know, and just, like, moving on from it. And that's another thing. He was like, you're just going to waste our marriage and, like, wash it down the drain. But he was also like, if you find out that, you know, if you and him break up, I'm still going to be here. Because I'm not going to be with anyone else. And then he goes, well, not at first anyway. And then he, and then he also said that if I was to go down there, he would move. He wouldn't be in this apartment. He would be, he returned to his nomad life. Like, wandering around the world. He says he loves me, but honestly, I don't know if I feel the same way anymore. I don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it when I was younger. Like, because, I mean, I enjoyed the sights and everything, but I didn't enjoy having to sleep on the ground or, like, in a tent when I'm not camping. Like, you see where he's at right now, right? Like, he's in there. He's not, he's not fighting for the marriage. He said he learned not to do that a long time ago. I don't know yet, uh, Wicket. Oh. Yeah, see, Greta, my husband doesn't do that. The only time he ever kisses me is when we're going to bed or if he's going to work or going to the store. Sometimes not even when he goes to the store.
Yeah, that's how it always is. If I'm live on TikTok or on Twitch, and I think that's another reason Mary and me ain't friends anymore, is because, like, if I was playing with her, I didn't even have to be live on Twitch. He would go in there and do his own thing on live, which, you know, is fine. But when he starts yelling and people start hearing it, Mary starts hearing it, and it becomes a constant thing. You know, it gets annoying. When is Elvis... He can't get his TikTok to work. Yeah, last night he was like, well, what is your gut telling you? And I was going to tell him, but I didn't want to because I didn't want him to get upset. I was going to say, my gut's telling me that you're not in it anymore. He can make a new one. Tell him he needs to fix it and hang with us. Tell him to uninstall and reinstall TikTok. He's on Twitch listening to everything, so. If that helps. But I, I, I have a bruise on my leg um, from Michael. I wasn't going to say anything because I know how people can be. Um, I'm not sure if he meant to hit me what but he threw his phone phone the other day and it hit my leg and he claims that he was aiming for the couch um but it hit my leg and I have a bruise from it but I bruise easily so regardless you know ask and beg for stuff like that brother like I have to be like Hey, can I buy this? Or, hey, you know, let's go do this. Like, I have been trying to get out of this apartment for the last month, month and a half. And it just seems like he doesn't want to do anything because, quote, it's too hot. Uh, it's the time you knew about, Kendra. And it all boils down to this is his apartment, so like, um, I'm like, I'm not on the lease, so um, I can leave whenever. Do something that keeps me cool, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's gonna be. Yeah, I, I don't see all the mental abuse. You're right. I, I'm probably blinded by it, um, by a lot of things. What's wrong with listening to Billie Eilish? What do you mean I take up oxygen? If I get with Elvis, I'm calling you Priscilla from now. <laughs> yeah, Elvis is from my hometown. Yeah, he just moved to Florida. No, I do not have a cat. It's on Minecraft. How would you get to Elvis with El or <laughs> How would you get to Florida would Elvis come and get you? It'll be arranged. Like I'm still trying to decide to be honest. So like I
said, Michael said, if I leave, he's just going to give the apartment up and be homeless again and be a nomad and just wander the earth because he misses it. He misses being homeless. He admitted that to me last night. And I told him, I'm like, I'm not going to be homeless again. Like, I don't want that. And he goes, well, even if it comes down to it, we'll still survive. We'll make it. We've already done that a few times. And I'm just like, yeah, but I don't want to do it again. Have you and Elvis made plans to move you? Um, not yet. Hey. Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised. I was just, because I was hoping he would give me advice, like, and show that he actually wanted me to stay. But instead, he just, like, told me, hey, I want you to stay. Like, yes, Elvis is my ex and the father of one of my kids. Honestly, like, I don't know, like, I feel like Michael doesn't, like, he may say he wants me here, but I think he's just saying that to make me feel better. Or to keep me from going to Elvis. But at the same time, um, I don't know, Katie. I wouldn't care. He talks to Ashley all the time. Like, if he wants to get back with Ashley, that's fine. I'm not going to stop him. Yeah, he's definitely not fighting for the relationship. He used to. Does Elvis have a stable job and everything? I don't know. Hello. Michael has been the one by you and supporting you. Yeah, I mean, it's his apartment. He's the one working, you know, and buying stuff for me. But, where is Michael now on live in the bedroom where he's been all day? I put Michael through a lot? Okay. No, he's now on this live. He's on his own live debating religion again like he always does. Go swimming? I wish I could go swimming. Oh, I know where he lives. That's not a problem. I'm the one abusing Michael? Yeah, okay.
how does Michael emotionally support me? So because I have mental issues that cause me to lash out in certain situations, I'm abusive. Tell them he put you through hell, he kept you homeless forever, keeps you with no food all the time. Yeah, they know. They know about the homelessness and stuff and how Michael enjoys being homeless and everything. It's just... So one of these people is from Reddit, so. Yeah, he doesn't really want to work more. Um, we've already discussed it. Michael said he doesn't want to get a second job or work any more than he has to at UPS. Don't use my mental excuse for my behavior. My mental, what I'm diagnosed with, literally causes me to lash out. You realize that, right? <sighs> Let me grab the freaking thing. I wrote it down. It was, it's a lot. Give me a second. I had to write it down because... Um, BPAD, ADHD, PTSD, and PMDD. I didn't say BPD, I said BPAD. It's a personality disorder. So they gave you medicine? No, I have to, I have another appointment coming up by uh, telehealth. The only medicine I have right now is Doxepin to help me sleep. That's true, Greta. He said that, that I don't need to work. <sighs> Someone fuck Megan. I'm done with her bullshit. I'm done with this bitch. And anyone talking about me working because that should be none of anybody's business, to be honest. Yeah, I'm waiting on that. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. Elvis, I'm still waiting to hear back. <laughs> yeah, I would. That got messed up when I got with uh, Michael. My disability did. Oh yeah, he knows. 
Michael knows I can't work. He knows that. But everybody on TikTok seems to think I can just by looking at me. Elvis is my baby daddy. You can go in my link tree in my bio, click on Twitch, and go over there if you want to talk to him. He's in my Twitch stream. He can't get TikTok to work. Okay, and good for you. Yeah, he called off work today. Yeah, Michael's fine with me and Elvis talking. Anyone talking about my fucking child can get the fuck out. I don't know why he called out. The alarm went off for him to go to work, he said, but I slept through it apparently. And then he said he called them. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether it's because of the storms coming in, because they told him that because he's on bike, you know, it would be fine if he missed some work. He wouldn't get in trouble. He's about to get suspended anyway. From work for having too many misloads. Yep, called out on top of looking at a suspension. Union, he said the union's gonna take care of it though, that he's not gonna get fired because he's with the union. A misload is where you put the wrong package on the wrong truck or. You know, right package, wrong truck, stuff like that. Well, he said the reason for the miss low was because apparently 180 place called him while he was putting packages on the truck or something, so. He said he filed a grievance. Put in. Sorry, he did Harley Quinn and joke, and I was like, put in. How many times? To be honest, he's gotten a write-up and a letter actually in the mail before um, for having too many mislows. Um, and that was a final warning then, so. He's supposed to. He said that they're wanting him to be a driver. No, he doesn't care. He likes being homeless. He calls it nomad life. I don't know. 
I was gonna say I don't think he would continue with 180 place if I left. He doesn't care that winter's coming. He probably wouldn't even be in South Carolina. He's in the bedroom on live. And the thing last night is like, he just wants me to be happy, but I don't feel happy anymore. Like, not as happy as I should be. Am I okay? I, I will be eventually, I guess. It's just a lot to take in and everything. But it would be like a seven hour trip for him to come and get me a seven hour trip back. So it'd be like 14 hours in total of driving and everything. Cause I got Luna, so like I can't take a Greyhound. <laughs> Lilith is Michael's dog. Yeah, it's already raining and shit here. Does he work, have a car, and housing? He's, he's got housing, yes. Nothing in North Carolina, yeah. What part of North Carolina are you in? I'm in South Carolina. Okay. I have a friend, oh well, was a friend that lived close to there. Sorry, I, I keep referring to her as my best friend. Still, I'm not quite used to not referring to her as my best friend. I'm sorry. Goose Creek is close to me. I'm in North Charleston. I'm in North Charleston. Also, if I'm being honest, I've never actually broken up with someone before. It's always been the other way around. No, I honestly don't think he cares. If he cared, he would be telling me that, you know, or he would be in here right now.
Yeah, he's in the bedroom. Doing his religious debates. I can't afford divorce. I cannot afford it. Yes, Elvis is still married, but they're separated now. Exactly. Exactly him. And he doesn't. He doesn't fight for me. He doesn't fight to keep me. His religious debate, he never lets anybody put their opinion in. It's only his. I don't really get involved with his religious debates because it's annoying. And it's hard to hear what anybody's really saying, so... Like... Yeah. I mean, even with his debate, let anybody's opinion, it's his opinion only. I mean, like I said, I don't know. I don't watch his lives. It cut out when you were answering questions about Elvis being married. Yes, Elvis is married, but he's separated. Right, you get muted right away, makes no sense. Were you in his live or something? Yeah, as soon as you go against his opinion, you get muted and blocked. Oh, I don't know, I'm not in there. I don't go in his lives much. When are you going to decide if you will go back to Elvis? I don't know. It's just going to take some time to make a decision. I asked him why if you guys don't believe in God, you're asking for prayers for the storm. I... I I think I shared a post that said prayers for Charleston. Um. Okay, so which team was better? Joking, wanted to see you laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Kiki. Do you guys get text or only talk through Twitch? Oh, uh, Facebook Messenger and Twitch as of now, today, as of today. Wait, are you separated now? I miss a chapter. No, we're not currently separated. <laughs> he did. <laughs> are you sure it's Elvis? I know people like to be mean to you. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's him. He's been messaging me on Facebook. that really matters him I don't think whose dick was better matters or like any of that shit yeah they heard his voice on twitch <laughs> Kendra. Kendra called him a redneck <laughs> I don't think it matters but That's what Tanya wants is to be homeless. I don't understand why. Like, why do people want that life? Why do people want to be nomads and be homeless all the time? I don't know. I, don't, I just don't understand it. One question. Does Elvis work? I really wish he was over here on TikTok, but he couldn't get TikTok to work for some reason. TikTok has been acting up a lot recently, though.
He said he does landscaping. He answered it on Twitch. <laughs> Cause he's on Twitch. Cause he couldn't get um TikTok to work. Yeah, it's a good job. Huh? What do you mean? Okay. But I cared, I'd be in here. Yeah, if you cared, you would be fighting for me to stay, and you don't. And I told you, I'm not going to force you to do what you don't want to do. It's your decision. I told you, I don't want you to leave. Did you get suspended or something again? No, I didn't. I called you to the brain that's coming in. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about your lie. No, I stopped it because I was over here with you were saying you. Yeah. Okay, and everything I said is true. Not all of it, no. Because you said that I didn't care whether I was homeless or not. That's not you true. literally said last night that you would go back to being a nomad. That's the same thing as I being said, homeless. I said if it came to it, I wouldn't care. If it came to it, I could survive in that lifestyle. That's basically saying that you like the lifestyle no, and you don't what, care. No. What you're doing is you're putting words in my mouth. Exactly. That's all he wants to do is start fights. I'm not starting a fight. I'm just trying to... He is a narcissist. I'm tired of it. So now you're tired of it. What am I doing so wrong? You, you still haven't explained anything to me. What do you want me to explain? What I'm doing wrong. They said gaslighting, so. They can say terms all they want, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not doing anything of the sort. I'm just asking a simple fucking question. I mean, you don't have to cuss at me. I cuss. You cuss too, so. I mean, am I doing something wrong? If I am, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I mean, you heard everything I said, then you should know. But a lot of stuff that you said is not true. Like what? Like how I enjoy being homeless and all this. Bullshit. You do? No, I, I never once said I enjoyed it. You don't have to say <laughs> that you... You're assuming because I can deal with it. And I told you multiple times, I'm not going to force you to stay somewhere that you don't want to stay. Do I want you to leave? No. Am I going to force you to say no? You can make your own fucking decisions. If I'm not making you happy, then don't be with me. If I am, then be with me. I don't care. I'm not happy anymore, no. In the beginning, I was. Then why don't you have Because we anymore? did a lot of shit together. We, we, were in a, we were in a small town. It was easy to do shit together. Okay, but why can't we still do stuff well, no matter what like town what? we're in? Like, like what? You're not explaining to me what we're going to do together. Just leaving the apartment and walking and, go, and going to the park. And 100 degree weather. You can't even stand in 100 degree weather, honey. You get overheated easily. Why do you think I always say not in this weather? When I say that, I'm looking out for your own safety. If you want to go walk out to the park in 100 degree weather, go for it. But I don't want to hear... You know, or we could go out to eat, go to a movie on a date. With show what? that you care, except for saying oh, it. Okay. Words With mean nothing. Money? With what money? Because half of the money goes to bills, the other half goes to food. And then the other half goes to cigarettes, Monster, and Reese's. Not all the time, no. But cigarettes, yes, because I smoke. Why are you trying to make me feel guilty for... I'm not making you feel any way. Well, then why do I feel guilty? I don't know. Why do me. I feel like I'm in the wrong all of a sudden? You tell me. I don't know. Are you in the wrong? I don't know. 
I just don't understand why you feel this way because you're not explaining it to me. I don't make a ton of money. I can only do so much. Okay, but you still, you can, you could get a second job. Get, right. So now you're going to start talking like them. Okay. What am I going to do in peak season? Get what you do you mean in? like that? I them. can't work fucking two jobs during peak season. Okay, so make it a temporary job or a part-time job and explain to them once peak season hits that you can't. So, so what I'm doing is not getting that. I know. Oh, my God. Once I get my license and go and start being a driver. I I'm hate not, when you say that. I'm not going to have time to have a second job. If that even happens. What do you think that even happens? You call out of work today. And? While facing a suspension. And? If they it keep you go on the... against me. How does it not go against you? Because I call in. If, if I didn't show up at all, it would have been a different story. They understand my transportation issue, and they understand the storm that's on the way. Okay, but the storms ain't coming in until like 2 o'clock, 2 to 4. It's only, we've only gotten and rain. Already, and it's already raining. Yeah, well, that's all we're getting right now is rain. And who knows when it's supposed to actually hit. We're already under severe watches and everything. The thing is, is you think because you're with the union that you're never going to get fired. I didn't say that. And if we weren't protected by the union. I don't understand why you're like. Like being so hateful and getting the Because attitude. you're in here saying stuff and talking I'm about I'm talking me. truthful. You're talking about me as if I don't give a fuck about anything. Because you don't. And that's a fucking lie. If you did, you would show it instead of just saying it. Now must, I do show it. Do I not do shit for you? Materialistic items don't mean shit. Do I not do stuff for you? That's, like what? Okay. I'm, I make food constantly. All the time. I'm always doing stuff for you. All the time. You ask me to do something. I'm also the one that cooks and cleans. We yes. do the same shit. It's life. And that shows somebody that you care about when you do stuff for them. It's life. Cooking and cleaning is a part of life. Yeah, it is. But it's also a way you show somebody you care about them by making sure they have something to eat. But you act like I don't do shit for you. You act like I don't show you that I love you at all. You don't. I do, but if you don't think I do, then... That's why you're walking off right because now. You're, because you're pissing me off. That's why. How am I pissing you because off? Because you tell me I don't show you I love you and I do all the time. You tell me you do. But we don't do what we used to do. And what's Why that? should that have had to change? Because we got married. I don't understand. What has changed? A lot. Name one thing that's changed. Well, our intimate life for one. What's wrong with our intimate life? Because we don't do stuff every fucking day? We don't do it as much as we used to. Okay, and you so? And you know I have hypersexuality. And that's my problem now? I can't help... What you have? I cannot help that. I'm sure there's medicine for that to control it. I do everything I can. Okay, and we also used to do things together, whether it was going to the park, going to the mall, like. Okay. Even window shopping and doing okay. stuff. We used okay. to do a lot together. You tell me where we're going to go window shopping at. Anywhere. Montague Avenue is right down the street. There's stores down there. There's multiple parks around here. Okay. So you want to go out in 100 degree weather and have a chance of passing out. If you think that I don't want to go to parks, I do. I would hate, I would love to go to a park again. Just to hang out. But in a hundred degree weather, no. 
I'm not. Hey, Dan, I'm out working in the heat. I have been in this apartment since we moved in. No, you haven't. Of September last year, oh. yes. No, you haven't. We went to the park once. You have been out of the apartment on occasions. We went to the park once. And we I, went to that park once. And you've been out on other occasions as well. Yeah, to get my ID. And we used to actually take the dogs out and go walking, and, and now you don't want to do that. It's hot. I'm not risking It's only been in the 80s. And it feels like 100. I don't even have to half the time smoke while I'm going to the store because it's too damn hot. No, well, that's what happens when you move to the south. I grew up in the south. What the hell is that got to do with anything? But it's different when you live in a small town versus a big city. When you live in a bigger city, it's harder to get to places without transportation. When you live in a small town, it's easier to get to places. Because everything's pretty much in, within walking distance. Bigger cities, it's not. You have to take public transportation, you have to walk your happy ass there. And I, for one, don't enjoy walking in the blister and heat. You don't enjoy going out at all. I do enjoy No matter going. what time of day it is. I do enjoy going out, but not in the heat. And I also shouldn't have to beg you to do anything with me, whether it's outside or in the house. What are you having to beg me for? I have to ask you numerous times to sit with me, to get out of that chair. So, because I like my chair, that's an issue? I didn't say that. Yeah, I think it is. Did I say it was an issue? Did I say the chair was the issue? No, you're the fucking issue. No, not my oh. issue. See, you're wanting to try to start an argument. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. If you weren't, you wouldn't be sitting here talking on live stream about me like this, knowing I can hear every word of it. Okay, well, if you could hear every word of it and you had a problem with it, you would have told me by now. Am I not standing right here right now? You're only standing in here because of what I said about you coming in here. That if you cared, you would be fighting for this relationship. I fight for this relationship all the time. I tell you exactly how I feel. You're not fighting for this relationship. So what do you mean to do? Beg you not to go? Because I'm not doing that. You literally just said that, you, that for basically for me to go. No, that's not what I said. I said I'm not stopping you from going. I'm not forcing you to stay. There's a difference. Do I want you to go? No. Am I going to stop you from going? No. It's your goddamn life. If you don't want to be with me, No, he doesn't like cuddling. He doesn't like cuddling. He doesn't like roses and chocolates. Who said I didn't like any of that stuff? Me. Don't change it. Because I don't get that stuff for you all the fucking time? You never do. Bullshit. While you're raising your voice at me, pipe down, Sparky. Fuck you. Do you want to be like that? Then go fuck everybody else on Reddit. Yeah, whatever. Reddit probably loves me more than you. Shit. Good! Because you know what? You're making a big deal out of fucking shit at what you're doing. You're making me have to be a bad person and I'm not. And I'm not going to stand for it. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have a fucking home. I had a home before I got with you. And what happened to it? I got with you and got homeless. That's because they threw your fucking ass out. That's why. You didn't have a home. You were staying with somebody. Yeah, my mom. Another Because my grandmother didn't want you staying with us at first. Okay, and? I mean, I wouldn't want strangers staying with me either. But when you sit here on live and talk, talk about me like I'm a fucking dog, I have an issue.
you. How am I talking to you like because a dog? Because you're telling me that I don't fight for you when I do. I you, fight for you constantly. I'm just not going to force you to stay in a relationship you don't want to be in or you don't know if you want to be in or not. I'm not that terrible. I feel like you're trying to guilt trip me and just I'm not guilt tripping nobody. You feel guilt that's on you. You're in charge of your emotions, not me. I've told you multiple times, I don't want you to leave, but I'm not going to stop you from leaving. Plain and simple. If you don't want me to leave, you need to show that. You I do show it all the fucking time. Why? Because you work four or five hours a day and come home and get on live? And, you, and you're playing games all day. I wonder why. Because you would At any time, you can tell me, hey, let's do something together, do and what? I would stop the game. Do what? What are we supposed to do? Because you sure the hell you're going to go out nowhere. I ain't got no money to go anywhere. Do you anything. don't have to have money to do anything with your significant other. Then what do you suggest we do? We could have done anything. Like what? Oh. You say you want, you say you want to start making your own decisions, we'll start making them. It ain't just me making the decision. Then who else is it? You. I'm not making decisions. You always say you don't know how to make your own decisions because everybody else makes them for you. Then start making them. Plain and simple. I shouldn't have to make your decisions for you. It's not that difficult. But don't sit in here and talk shit about me online. I'm not talking shit about you. You are. If speaking the truth is talking shit about no, you. No, it's talking shit because most of the stuff that you said is not true. Like what? Again, I'll say it. Like what? Okay. Like, for example, that I don't show you that I love you and that I don't fight for you and all this stuff. Bullshit. You don't. Yes, I do. You just don't. I understand. told them word for word what you said last night. And what did I say last night? You basically, you didn't yell or nothing. You said to go. You just no, that's me. not what I said. I did not say to go. Don't interrupt me, I said, Jimmy. I said, if you're going to be this way, what? Then, then maybe you should Call you be by here. your birth name? Then maybe you shouldn't be here if you feel this way. Then maybe you Fine, should. I'll go. Then go. I'm not stopping you. That's the whole point of this. Make your own goddamn decisions. If you don't want to be with me, then don't be with me. I'm not forcing you. That's my whole point. I don't want you to leave, but if you want to leave, then go. I'm not sure how much more planner I can be. I don't know why you're making it difficult. You're twisting my words on me and everything. All I said is, if you don't want to be with me, then don't. Don't talk to me right now. Just why? get out of my fucking face. Why? Get out of my fucking face. Why? Because I'm simply telling you the truth? You just showed you didn't care about me, so get out of my fucking Wow, house. really? How did, I not, how did I show that? Because I'm telling you to make your own decisions? Wow! You, see, this is what I'm talking about. You don't even know what the hell you want. You talk shit about me like a goddamn dog. Exactly, I want to feel loved, not be told to leave. I'm not telling you to leave. You I, literally just fucking did. I said maybe you should leave if you That's do, if the you same feel that. Thing. No, it's not. If you understand how to, how words work, I said if you feel that way, then maybe you should leave. I'm not telling you to leave. 
brother grasp what I'm saying. I have told you time and time again, every time we get into to talks like this, every time you start talking to Elvis, it's a sad Are you shit. jealous of Elvis? I don't care about Elvis or your relationship with him. I'm not jealous at all. If you want him, don't be with him. Plain and simple. I'm not going to keep you somewhere you don't want to be at. If you're not happy with me, then go somewhere that makes you happy. Exactly, he doesn't care. If I didn't care, then why would I be saying what I'm saying? That's ignorance. All I want is for you to be happy, regardless if that's with me or him. I mean, how much plainer can I be? Seriously. I want to be with you, but you obviously don't want to be with me. And that's the fucking problem. So if you want to be with Elvis, if you would rather be with him, then bond with I. Don't be happy. That's all I'm fucking saying. I'm not going to force you to be here if you don't want to be here. You just don't care. I do care. What point of that don't you get? If I didn't care, I'd be trying to force you to stay here. But I'm not. He don't know how to talk to anyone calmly. I've tried talking calmly. But nobody seems to fucking understand anything I'm fucking saying. It's simple. I'm not forcing you to be here. I'm not going to force you to be somewhere you don't want to be. If you are not happy being with me, and you would rather be with Elvis, then go be with Elvis. It's that simple. I mean, how is that not clear? Have you ever heard the saying, if you love something, sometimes you gotta let it go? Because I do love you, but you don't have the same feelings towards me. Not anymore, I don't. Well then, again, if you don't love me and you don't want to be here, I'm not making you happy, then go be, be with somebody that will make you happy. I'm not going to force you to stay with me if you don't want to. If I didn't care about you, and it was all about me, I would try to force you to stay here, but I'm not. That is your ultimate decision. I don't understand why you don't get about that. If you would rather be with him, then go. Be happy. Because obviously I'm not making you happy. But don't sit there and talk shit about me. Saying I don't I'm care. not talking shit about you. Yes, you are. That's why I came in here to begin with, because I heard all the shit you were saying.
I told you multiple times. If you're not happy with me, then that's fine. Go be with somebody that makes you happy. You want to be with Elvis, go be with them. I'm not going to change for anybody. I am who I am. If people can't deal with that, that's their problem. Not mine. If you can't handle that, that's your problem, not mine. If you can't accept that, then I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, you have been talking shit about me the entire time you've been in here on your life stream. I'm not deaf. That's why I came in, because it got my attention. Saying how much I don't care and how much I don't fight for you and stuff. What do you want me to do? You want me to sit here and beg you to stay? Now, I don't know what you want me to do. You mean to say, no, don't go down there, stay here with me. Why would I want to do that in the first place? That's more like begging you to stay, and I'm not doing that. Do I want you to go? No, I don't. I'm not going to stop you from going, no. I mean, it's not that hard, to, hard of a concept to figure out. I don't understand why people don't understand. I'll try to do everything I can for you. But in the end, I guess it's not enough. I guess everything that I do is easy enough to show you that I, how much I actually care about you. So apparently you would expect more. I don't know what you expect out of me because you never tell me what you expect. You ever tell me I ask you what your expectations are? I don't know. I don't even think you know what you want. You think you know what you want, but I don't think you truly do. Because if you did, you would actually know what you want and you would pursue it. So you're going to sit here and just keep talking shit about me, then we're going to keep having problems. He is older. He's 42. As far as being homeless, no, I didn't say I enjoyed it. I said I can survive it. Does he have dentures? No, he doesn't have any teeth. Not sure why that fucking shit matters. I don't care about money. Yeah, when we go to bed, or when you go to the store, or go to work. Sometimes not even when you go to the store. Doesn't damn lie. You don't 
ever randomly just come up behind me, hold me from behind, hug me from behind, give me a kiss on my forehead, none of that shit. I think so. That's a damn lie. Not like a freaking man should to their significant other. What the hell does that mean? Can I get so tired of being downgraded constantly? I'm not downgrading yes, you. you. Are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Why? By expressing my feelings? Because, because if it's going to be that way, because, you can go get married. Because you're saying that I don't... Because you're saying, not like a man's supposed to do. And that's a fucking lie in the begin, to begin with, because I do randomly come, come to you and kiss you on the head and shit. So don't sit there and fucking say that kind of shit. Meanwhile, I video game all day because I have nobody who wants to spend time with me. I do spend time with you, but I don't know what you expect me to do. You don't. What, sitting in the chair, falling asleep, sitting in the chair, arguing with people on okay, the so all day? Okay, so falling asleep after I get up early in the morning to go to work? So I'm not allowed to take a nap? I'm sorry if four to five hours of work makes you sleepy. Wow, really? Of loading packages onto a truck. Don't go on Reddit because you sound just like them. Matter of fact, you and Mary should become best friends again because you sound just like her too. Wait, you called off work. Yes, I did because there's storms on the way. That ain't reached here yet. We're having storms right now. It's still raining outside. Not heavy right now, I know. But now you're trying to start, start and sound like everybody else that you despise. But you're sounding just like them. That's okay, because I don't really care about their opinions either. He interrupts me when I talk. He doesn't really listen. I do listen. I do exactly what you do to me all the time. Look for the like positives in him? You do the exact same thing to me. But if you're going to sit there and talk shit about my damn work, we're going to have more issues. So now I'm not allowed to talk about you working at UPS. You just sat there and pretty much just said... Uh, me working at the four or five hours makes me tired. Okay, but it does the first thing like, you do when you come home from work, you grab your phone, you get on TikTok, and you fall asleep while you're in people's lives okay. debating religion. I get tired. You don't come home from work and be like, hey, baby, how was your day? No, I'm like, hey, how was your day at work? I already know how you, your day is. You're just not, not waking no, up No, you don't. Time. You don't know how you my... You literally day. get up right after I get off work. Or I, I have an alarm set for 9 o'clock. And half the time you're up. Just a little... Before. But it doesn't matter that people either knock like at like 5, 6 in the morning to you or that, oh, well, the dogs woke me up and I had to do this, this, and this. Or, oh, this happened, so I woke up to do this. You never ask how I was. Really? You tell me how you are anyway. Every time you get up, you tell me what's going on when you wake up. So what's the point of me asking? 
when you automatically tell me. And I'm sorry if I get up that early in the morning to go to work, and then I come home and sit down, and I get a little sleepy. Because I get up so damn early and go to work. Well, I guess that's not allowed either. Because right now, you're really saying... Yeah, well, Mary doesn't care about me, so don't talk about Mary. If she cared anything about me, we'd still be friends. She wouldn't be letting feelings and venting get to her. Right now we're expecting heavy storms, so I don't know what we expect us to do. So I'm not going to say anything here and twiddle my thumb while you're playing a game, that's for damn sure. Okay, well, what do you expect me to do when you're alive? I Sit there and fucking twiddle my thumbs? I don't want really ever go live until they do playing a game or something until you're alive. And I've asked you multiple times to play games with me and you won't. And I'll try playing games with you. No, you haven't. The games that you play, I'm not interested in. I've already told you So? That. So I'm supposed to play stuff I'm not interested in? To show you care about me? You don't even play Fortnite anymore. Because I have no one to play with. Fortnite and, and stuff like that. Fortnite, I, Dead by Daylight, that's I just boring by yourself. I have multiple times I would play Fortnite with you. The only issue I have when it comes to playing Fortnite with you is the fact that you get mad easily during the game. I don't even think Elvis has the gas money to come and get me, y'all. True. But as far as, like... Minecraft and stuff like that. No, I don't like playing those games. Why? I don't. You played it for like 30 minutes and didn't even know what you were doing. All you did was chopping grass. Well, you didn't even give it a chance. I did give it a chance. For one, I don't even like looking at the screen when I'm when you're playing it because the damn way it's set up hurt my eyes. And quite frankly, I don't even think there's actually a point to that game. There's nothing that we both enjoy. There is. Like what? Let's say we both enjoy Fortnite. Yeah, you just don't tend to enjoy most of the games I enjoy. No, because I'm not interested in action. Of course you're not. And I don't know why. I'm not that big in shooter games. That's why you don't see me playing Fortnite that much. And if I do, it's the music part. And why aren't you, why don't you like shooter games? The thing that I play called... Waited in years. Oh, that's because you always say you had nobody to play with. That, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing on Call of Duty. The last time I played was when I was a kid. At oh. Mary's, playing zombies. No, it's not, because I, I watched you play it before myself. When? I've actually played it before with you. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Because you have to buy Call of Duty. It was one of those Call of Duty games that I played with. I don't know which one it was. Because we were shooting zombies and it was first person, which I cannot stand first person video games. But I played with them. Yeah, most of them are. But regardless, there's more than just video games that we can do. I just don't know what. Because all you're interested in is video games for the most part. I'm just not much of a gamer. And that's okay, we don't have to have 
all common interests. My parents married 48 years and didn't have a bunch of common interests. I wish I could go fishing. I love fishing. I miss fishing. Michael doesn't like going fishing because it reminds him of his I dad. I didn't like going fishing. Yes, you did. No, I said You said you don't want to go fishing ever again because it reminds is, you of your no, dad. No, 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 no. See, that's what I'm talking about. You're, you're twisting everything I've said. I never said I didn't want to go fishing ever again. At one time, I didn't want to go fishing because it did remind me of my dad. But I would not mind going fishing again. In honor of my So dad. now you're changing it to now you want to go fishing no. in honor of your dad. No. This is the first that I heard. Well, you know, people do change their minds and change their ways a little bit on their own. I mean, it happens. I mean, yeah, like I'm not allowed to change my mind or, you know, decided that, you know, I want to go fishing again or try it again or whatever. Yeah, like that's a crime to want to do that. What do you mean? What are you saying that, you know... I'm, How am I acting like it's a crime? Because you're, you're like the... Not, am I not allowed to change my mind about it? All of a sudden? Like right now? Because this is the first I've heard of it. Because we haven't talked about it. Because we never talk. We do talk. Apart from on TikTok, we never talk. Both are talking. I have no problem talking. But I can't be the only one making all the fucking decisions. So I'm the one that has to make all the decisions. No, it's not what I said. I said I'm not, I can't be the only one to make all the decisions. Because I'm the, the one that's been cleaning. Decisions are meant to be made to I even did the dishes like for a few days in a row regardless of what my doctor told me. And? Yeah, he doesn't care. He doesn't like giving people hugs or anything like that. He doesn't like that mushy, gushy shit. I never said I didn't like hugs. I don't know why, where you're getting this shit from. I may not be... I haven't been on a date in years. I think I had the money to go out on a date. I have to wash dishes with gloves, according to my dermatologist. And I don't have gloves. I don't have money for gloves. And we haven't ordered Timu in months. I had mods, I just don't know where they're at. I do uh, laundry in the tub, but we can't do laundry right now because it's raining.
I'm live on Twitch, yes. Because Elvis can't get TikTok to work. But he was able to get Twitch to work. Yeah, I'm streaming Minecraft. Because I think... I don't think you can... Well, I don't know. Because I've seen people do it to where they can stream their face and just chat. But I don't know if I need a camera for that. Or if I hook it up to my phone. I don't... You know, I don't know all the... um technologicals or whatever of it so I, I just have minecraft going in the background no minecraft's free well at least it was for me we don't really have anything to cook if I'm being honest we have noodles He went back in the bedroom. Yeah, I'll have to see how much the PlayStation camera is, I guess. Camera is, I guess. Apply for food stamps? We don't get food stamps anymore. They got cut off. Michael makes too much money according to EBT. For a single person. Well, yeah, because they took me off the case. Even though it was in my name, they took me off the case. And I guess put it over in your name. They won't let me apply and be on my own case. It would be against the rules because we're married. I don't know why he said that. Well, I said what? That it doesn't make a difference now. I think he's still on my Twitch, yeah. It says I have one viewer, so.
Yeah, he's in here. Well, I'm jumping off here, y'all.